Okay, so I got a hot tip from a few different people, including Mr. V? Mur Mervy? Mervy, I never know how to pronounce that. You need to tell me how to pronounce that. Uh, saying that back by the EVA suits was an elevator with a switch uh, that was to the right of the door for five levels. I only, uh, I only saw three. So I assume it's this thing. And I came up here and I said, oh, the door won't open. And that's pretty normal in new Star Citizen ships. There's always something that doesn't work yet. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't see this. <laughs> Look, <laughs> there's more ship. I knew this was too small. I knew it. Okay, where can I, there's a massive elevator. I presume this is the primary entrance and the cargo area. So let's see what we can do. I, I think it's safe to say, oh yeah, check that out. Uh, exit to service. Cargo hold. We're, we'll go to the cargo hold first. Whee! <laughs> oh, this is so much better. I was I was mildly disappointed, but I had a feeling that I had missed some large part of the ship. I'm so glad to find out that I did. Where where is it? Here we go. This is much better. Oh, check that out. Does does the cargo room open up? I wonder. Let's see. Is there a authorized maintenance only? Or are you just... Whoa! Uh-oh! No, 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 no! Ah! Ooh, what's going on? Oh, I'm dying. Oh, gravity's not quite right in here. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, there we go. Alright, be very careful in the cargo hold. So we've got a pretty darn big cargo hold. Floor space-wise, it's nearly as big as the one in the Gemini. But, uh... It's not as tall, and there is some stackability. But this is a pretty good-sized cargo room. Let's get that elevator back here. Come here, you butthole. And again, guys, feel free to tell me if I'm missing anything down here. If there's like a door that opens up or if you're just supposed to... Oh, for crying out loud. I know what I'm missing. I'm missing the door opening. Dimwit. <laughs> if, uh, if, if I'm missing anything or if that's just, you know, you sort of bring it in here and then you load it in there. Which is pretty cool and makes a certain amount of sense as this is the main entrance for the ship. Um... I was not, I was in the PTU, I wasn't able to, I'm a little scared to do this, I'm trying to crash it. Wasn't able to open this from the bottom very easily. Wow! Uh, this, I think it is safe to say, is going to hold a cyclone. This is going to hold, possibly, I don't know if it'll hold an Ursa. I don't know. But yeah, you can get your cyclone, your gray cat, your, uh, what you call them? Help me out now. You're, uh... Dragonflies and Noxes, that's what I was trying to say. But I think you might even be able to fly a Merlin up this cargo and, like, park it in here. That would be so cool. Oh, man, I don't think you could get it through this door because this door is about the same size, but you could park something in here. Oh, I'm doing that as soon as I can get a hold of one of these things to be to you. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get one more look at that cargo hold. How do I open the door? Just click on cargo hold again? Yeah. But if you look in there, that is definitely also a parking garage for your land vehicles, which can drive right out here. You could probably park the cyclone almost lengthwise on this thing. All right, let's see. There's also the salvage hold. Let's have a look at the salvage hold. Oh, I love this. This is so fantastic. Oh, man. Uh, my brother Ed was... Another hold! More garage! You can hold all of the cyclones. You can hold them all. All of the dragonflies, all of the cyclones, hold all of the everything. <laughs> oh, man, this is... This is awesome. I, The owner of this ship... Like, I always look at how could you use a ship against its intended purpose? Like the people who use like an old school bus as an RV. I love that sort of thing. And I'm thinking, what could you use this for? This to me screams like classic car garage. <laughs> you know, with the low ceilings and stuff. I've been through some garages where they had some expensive old classic cars. And they all have insanely low ceilings and narrow walls. So you're terrified that you're going to slam into something with their very expensive car. Okay, let's call that elevator again. Okay, so that's two garages. You can fit... All of the vehicles in there are God knows what else. This place is massive. Uh, salvage processing. Okay, let's go. Is that the, the the sweet giant munchie room? I would like to see that. That eats up all the metal. 
No, this is another hangar. <laughs> all of the cars. Well, you could just just get them all in here. You can have one of every cyclone, one of every Nox, one of every everything. And this one's got two levels. This is awesome. Oh, reclaimer owners rejoice. Man, you got you got the business right here. This is really cool. So many spaces. All right. Um, there was another door on the other side. Does that open? Hmm. Well, look at that. Our reclaimer is 44 meters ahead. Um, I don't think that opens. Let's see. What's this? That's, that's the habitation door, isn't it? Okay, so that's the habitation door. Let's go to the salvage balcony. This will be that second floor to the salvage... I don't know. One of the two salvage rooms. Open up! Yeah, this is just... Okay. It's still pretty cool. This is very nearly the size of a self-land hangar. It's, it's kind of disappointing. Because I feel like... I feel like CIG should be making a vehicle the size of the Reclaimer. Right? That's slow and bulky. And its only job is to carry other ships around. And you think to yourself, oh, well, we don't want pocket carriers. But it, it just because it can carry them doesn't mean it's a carrier. It's poorly defended. It's got, you know, it's super slow. I don't think it would hurt anything to have a little door back here open up so you can, you know, ferry some M50s around in a ship like this. And, and it's bound to happen. I suppose maybe we'll be able to do it on the really big uh, hull series, but... I feel like a ship like this that doesn't do much except for carry other ships, and that's all it's really good at. I mean, it would sell like hotcakes, and I don't feel like it would unbalance the game. But I don't think that's something they're going to do, because I feel CIG places uh, an unreasonable amount of value on the ability to carry another ship. Just look at the cost of, of like, the, what is it, the Constellation Taurus versus the Andromeda or the Aquila. Uh, when you carry another vehicle, that, that price shoots way up. And look at things like the size of the cargo door on the Star Ferry. It could be bigger. It could be bigger. But if it were any bigger, you could get an M50 and a Merlin in there, no problem. I, I think that's intentional. And I think that's a shame. Maybe we'll be able to carry our racing ships around in... I don't know. Right, right now. Uh, oh, no, no, no. What's going on? Where am I? Ah, uh, I've glitched. <laughs> no. Uh, maybe I can glitch back in? Yay! I'm dead. Oh, Medipen? Medipen? I'm gonna bleed to death. I'm gonna bleed to death. I'm gonna die. I can't call the elevator. My legs are broke. Oh, my broken legs. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, anyway. Uh, I'm super stuck. And I can't remember how to kill myself. Daggone it. Um, I'll be right back. I had to respawn. <laughs> I, I had to go and look it up first, too. It was crazy. Anyway, hey, I feel like they place way too high a value on the ability to carry another ship, considering, I mean, really, what what good is it going to do to scramble a couple of racing ships in a fight? <laughs> not, not a whole lot. And, y you know, you can't, don't necessarily have to fit military fighters in there. I think I was talking about the Hull series, how I think they're going to be able to carry ships. But, uh... You know, it's, it's going to have to be boxed up, which is great, but it would be nice if you could get your racing Archimedes from one system to another system without having to spend $400 on another ship to do it. That's that's kind of crazy pants. I mean, that's that's like the equivalent of 400,000 credits. I don't have to spend $400,000 to get a motorcycle from one place to another. I, I could just, you know, buy a trailer for a crappy old pickup and... I would really like that kind of functionality in the game. Maybe not something so you can scramble the fighters for combat, just something so you can, you know, maybe maybe pull out on mothballs or something. But eh, it doesn't seem like we're gonna get that. Or a trailer hitch! I'll take a trailer hitch, and I'll also take this awesome gravity ball. Man, I want a gravity ball. Anyway, that is the other half of the Aegis Reclaimer. I knew I was missing something. I knew that couldn't be all of it. Thank you guys very much for pointing that out to me so I could get this video up tonight. And I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow with the Terrapin. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.